What's up enthusiasts? Not too long ago we went through my light loadout and I talked to you through why I had everything set the way it was and uh, I enjoyed doing that. It seems like a decent number of you enjoyed me doing that as well. So uh, I thought let's do that for something else and that something else is, well, this, which is a little bit heavier than what I showed you last time. And this came about, well, because I hurt my back. I hurt my back and realized there was a game I could go to, and I thought, well, I can't be sprinting around, I'm not going to be running around, so what can I do? Well, why don't I go heavy? If I'm just going to stand behind a tree and have fun taking shots at people, let's just go heavy. So I think it was either the morning of or the night before, I just was slapping together what I could and kind of figured I'd take you through the uh, thought process behind this one. So let's start with the vest itself and apologies for the slightly messy desk today. I needed to have a little bit more space to work with to show you all this since it is a, uh, well, heavier loadout. Uh, I've got my Blastersmith's UK vest and it has my logo custom embroidered onto the back, which is one of my favorite things that Blastersmith's UK does. This vest is awesome. Um, it, it feels durable. It just has some nice little things into it that I really, really like. Um, lots of molly. Not only is this Velcro right here for patches, like my BSUK patch, my Out of Darts patch, but this is also molly compatible as well. So if you want to put something here, you can, uh, which is great use. I've got a, a small zipper dump pouch here from Blasphemous UK as well to just be able to put like my uh, battery pack to power my GoPro and things like that. Otherwise, relatively empty back just because um, there wasn't much I needed to have back there. I wasn't going super heavy like in my, uh, you know, mobile reload station loadout. This was just for myself to uh, have some fun of the game. Now on the front here, we have the built-in four mag pouches, which holds as you recount, four, mag four mags. I cannot get this to sit properly, my apologies. Uh, then I've also got, I just realized how much Blastersmith's UK products I have on this loadout. Uh, these are uh, Blastersmith's UK Miranda pouches right here. And these each hold three magazines, three 18 mags. And it's just, it's just nice. Cause like they're easy to get to. They aren't the fastest to reload with. Um, which is why I don't often run them on my like speed loadouts, like my competitive loadouts and whatnot. But for a game where you don't need the reload in an instant, um, these are great because they don't take up much real estate and you can hold three mags with them. So I, I like them. Uh, they also have the uh, retention system here for your mags that are built into the vest. I always love having built in mag access in a vest or a belt or whatever. It is really nice. Um, you'll notice here that I have a heavier amount of stuff on what would be my left side, right side of the screen, but when I'm wearing it would be my left side. And that's because I'm generally right handed. So if I'm shooting, like I've got my blaster like this, um, my arm is going to be close into my body. So if I have a bunch of bulk on the right side of my body, it's going to be harder and more awkward for me to properly hold the blaster the way I want to. So that is the reason I tend to put a lot of my bulk on the left side. Now that's not to say that uh, I would never use this left-handed. Um, in a competitive situation, I will be switching left hand, right hand, depending on which way I'm peeking. We'll, we'll, I actually plan on doing a whole video about that later on, but that's just, just something to, to note. Um, but yeah, so generally for just standard games, I like to have all of my bulk on the right side or the left, um, the left side. So I'm not obstructing my own path to, to shoot at people and tag people out, which is why there is next to nothing on the right side here. I've got a single ma um, NMAG holder here. I could have run more. I could have made this super heavy, but I didn't really have the time to take all the mags out of my or the end mag holders out of my speed loadout and put them on this so it, it, like i said this was like the morning of or late the night before just trying to like piece together a loadout that i could use uh, i got my jangular patch up there and then on the belt which is one of the things i like about this is it comes with actually belt loops that you can attach your belt to and then attach other things to such as a dump pouch 
And the dump pouch is just a large zipper dump pouch. Uh, holds my mags and all that stuff uh, that I, I drop out as soon as I finish so I can quickly swap in, swap out, not worry too much about space. Um, in here right now, I think it's just some extra mags. Uh, here we go. Boop, one of these. I actually decided to start running a single 22 dart worker mag as my uh, starting mag. So at the beginning of the game, I would just have this on me. And this is the blaster I was using. This is my Origins Fabu Strife, the, the original, not quite the same color scheme, but the blaster, one of the blasters that started the Fabu uh, color scheme. And in here right now is a containment crew containment cage at 42 millimeters with Neo Rhinos and uh, Instanto wheels from Out of Darts. Um, I, this was my first time running this cage and this setup. And actually, interestingly enough, the first time I'd ever used a flywheel cage at a game that was not a stock flywheel cage or stock flywheels. That is how far behind in terms of tech I'd let myself fall. And the reason is, which is interesting to me, I never felt like I needed it. You know, running Falcon, a Falcon Strife with stock cage and stock motors, I still did fine. So anytime someone tries to convince you that you need to have the latest and greatest to be successful at games and get tags, don't believe them. You can run tech that's outdated. You can run almost anything and find a way to be successful. Now, that being said, having a uh, you know, higher end setup is gonna make things a little bit easier in most cases, but it doesn't make it impossible if you don't. Um, I also run a Bolt V2 1000 milliamp 3S LiPo in here. It barely, with a lot of finagling, it barely fits inside this BSUK expanded battery tray. Uh, I, you, I can't go any smaller than this. I know it's bulky and, and kind of nasty looking, uh, but I'm so accustomed to it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, otherwise, that's, that's pretty much it. The whole idea behind the loadout was I'm not moving. I'm not moving, I just want to be able to take shots and not worry about running out of darts. So each game I played, I shot about 200 darts in five to 10 minutes. Um, and got lots of tags. And I'm doing this because I want this to pair with the gameplay footage that will be coming out, hopefully relatively soon, showcasing this loadout in action, the blaster in action, the, the new cage, instanto wheels, Neo Rhino motors, all that in action, and uh, just having a good time being back out in the field and nerfing after the winter season. It's, it's, it's great to get out there. And I just wanted to do a kind of a, a talk through of uh, my loadouts. I think I'm gonna start doing this whenever I go out to a game and run a different loadout, something that may not already have a video on its own. I think I'll go ahead and, and, and put up a video just kind of talking through my loadout and why I'm doing the things I am and, and the whole kind of building process. So I think that's going to do it for this one. Let me know what you think of this kind of, I'm going to be a lazy man, stand behind a tree and take some shots at people kind of loadout. Is it something you enjoy? Do you like the kind of just, I'm not going to be too mobile and just be stationary turret style? Or uh, do you prefer the lighter style loadouts that I do? Let me, let me know in the comments. Love hearing from all of you. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future and look forward to the gameplay footage with this loadout video. I'll put it up here in the links on, uh, yeah, hey, Pat pointed the right direction. Awesome. Eventually there'll be some, some videos over here of the gameplay footage, but thank you all so much for watching. I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.